Today, we're jumping into Elden Ring. Let's get into it. Okay, so before we jump into the game, we are going to come to desktop mode, and we are going to come up here to Cryo Utilities, and this is Cryo Utilities 2.0. Uh, there'll be a, a link in the description uh, below where you guys can click on that and download and install that if you haven't done so already. First thing we're going to do is we're going to click here on Cryo Utilities. We're going to accept. We're going to put in our password. Okay, now what we do is we hit the recommended settings. Now we've already done this, we're not gonna go through it again. Just click on recommended and uh, go ahead and leave it. Okay, we're gonna close this out. Then we're gonna return to gaming mode. Okay, so here we are back in gaming mode. One thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to settings. We're gonna come down to properties. Now we are going to come down to compatibility layer. As you can see, we're running on GE Proton 7-49. Okay, we're gonna back out and we're going to launch the game. Okay, so here we are at the main menu. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna navigate down here to system. We are going to go over here to our settings. As you can see, we're running windowed 1280 by 720. We're gonna navigate down to advanced settings. Now these are some great settings for this game. This game actually looks and plays better than my PS5 or my Xbox Series S. And um, it's absolutely gorgeous on the Steam Deck. Um, now you can see we're running texture quality medium, um, and a listing quality, we're running high, SSAO we're on high. Um, the next two settings, depth of field and motion blur, we're running low. Uh, shadow quality, lighting quality, those are both medium. Uh, effects quality, high, volumetric quality, and reflection quality, low. Um, those two settings, in my personal opinion, the reflections are nice, but it's too hard of a hit performance wise um, to really justify leaving those on. And uh, the game actually looks just fine with the reflections on low anyway. So uh, the next setting, uh, water surface quality, we have that set to high, shader quality high, global illumination quality high, and uh, grass quality at medium. Um, the grass quality, if you bump that up, it'll kill your performance. It adds so much um, grass to the game. It looks beautiful, but it plays terribly. So um, that global illumination quality, having that on high, um, we didn't have that on high before. And a matter of fact, we had... Uh, I think we had another setting that we bumped up to high as well um, from our previous settings. Um, we were able to do that thanks to Cryo Utilities. So uh, we're super happy with these settings. Let's go ahead and jump into the game. And I'm just going to hit continue here. Okay, so here we are in game. Um, as you can see, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, Like that looks so good. This is a handheld. Just profound how good this looks. Okay. Um, that guy's eyeing me. Uh, so one thing I like to do is when I first start, make sure this guy's not gonna attack me. I like to come in here and I like to just hit 60 and then back down to 30 just to reaffirm. You'll see it kind of go nuts up there in the right hand corner just for a second and then it'll be very solid so you may see a little drops here and there um but for the most part it holds to 30 really really nicely this guy's got some issues here i did not feel good Now I'm pretty early on in the game um, on the Steam Deck. Um, I've been playing on the PS5, I was playing with my brother and he went in ahead and, and uh, he had some time off work and he just ran through this game in like a week and beat it. 
and uh, so now I think I'm going to revisit it and I'm just going to play it on the Steam Deck. Um, to me it's just just a really nice experience. One of the things I recommend um, after you test these settings for yourself and you feel comfortable with them, um, I recommend just turning your performance overlay off. Um, when this game does dip below 30, uh, it's pretty hard to tell in most cases. Um, you may notice it uh, depending on what you're doing. Um, but because of the, the way the camera in this game works, because of the way he runs, um, even on your when you're on your... Uh, steed um the way it runs um you won't really be able to notice uh the frame rate drops too much and again these frame rate drops are only typically in um really high and intense situations uh like even here um with all these guys it's still holding really, really good. You can see it's a solid line up there. Uh, I mean, look how good this looks. Like this is absolutely amazing. Okay, one thing I do want to show you guys, uh, and that look at that global illumination. Um, the lighting looks so good. One of the things I want to show you guys is we're going to come down here to this dragon and I'm going to show you kind of the high intense um, moments that I'm talking about uh, when you're going to see a hit to that FPS. And that's when he decides to start spewing flames and destroying uh, foliage and, and uh, other things. So uh, remember how I was talking about the um, reflection setting having it on low. I mean, even with it on low, you're getting really nice um, reflection effects. And uh, so let's see here. What we can do to upset this guy here. No. I don't think I got his attention now. Oh yeah. He is mad. Now watch when he when he decides to uh, spew flames. Look how beautiful this game looks. Look at the reflections of it on, on the on the water. I mean it looks good even at low. I'm gonna die. Ooh, that was close. I mean, even here, we're holding a good 30 FPS. You may see it drop to 26. I've seen it drop as low as 23 before, um, but it doesn't happen very often there. And this is this was also when I talked about in my previous uh, video with Hogwarts Legacy, um, testing your settings in the most difficult spots. You need to test your settings in the trouble areas. And if you can dial them in there, then you're gonna be good almost everywhere else. Um, there are occasional um, places in games where um, it, there shouldn't be an FPS drop, but for some reason, um, there just is. And uh, you're not really ever going to be able to do anything about that. Uh, and that's probably going to be dealt with in a patch or uh, something on uh, Valve's side. So uh, other than that, let's see if we can uh, get a little more gameplay in. You can see that 30 FPS is holding up really nice. These crabs are fast. Oh. Hmm. 
Just look at the particle effects. Um, we got those effects on high and uh, it looks so good. I'll come up here. I might die. Oh, come on, buddy. Yeah. I love the combat in this game. Now, I, growing up, um, I was never a huge fan of, um, uh, you know, like Dark Souls and, and, um, so when I first started playing Dark Souls, I got super frustrated because, you know, I knew that there was a high difficulty level, um, but I wasn't used to, uh, the game mechanics and playing that way. I was used to playing quick and fast and, and not having to stop and think and worrying about, you know, um, stamina, you know, and, and it, you know, when you, when your stamina runs down and then you can't dodge or, you know, stuff like that. Um, and so I was really leery about buying this game and, uh, you know, I'm sure glad I did because the interesting thing is, is that I, I think that if I had started playing Dark Souls games, I may have never even picked this up. Um, but because I played this first, and because of the type of game it is, um, I was able to really enjoy what this game does well. And um, it kind of helped me look past, um, you know, that super difficulty level and saying, okay, well, let's take another run at it. Let's take another run at it. And um, it just put me, it got me to a really good place where I felt comfortable and I, I started to enjoy the difficulty. And I don't know if that's the same for all you guys playing. And if that's how you did, or if you just always love uh, or loved uh, Dark Souls games for that reason. Um, but after that, you know, I started picking up Dark Souls games and then I absolutely just fell in love with them. And uh, it, it's just awesome. Um, so yeah, as you guys can see, this thing is running really stellar. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, come on over here. And we won't play for much longer. Um, gives you guys a really good idea of how the game performs. Now, see now that little drop? That was really weird. And uh, I've never, it's one of those spots. It's just like there's nothing around and it just uh, drops a little bit. And so, uh, oh, here these guys are. Pretty interesting. Now, if you guys ever have an issue um, with your uh, uh, settings, like if you come and encounter and like, wow, you know, I'm really struggling on, uh, struggling on an area and, uh, you know, you're wondering what you can do to uh, kind of remedy that, um, you guys can go ahead and go into the settings and you guys can uh, turn that global illumination from high. I think you can turn it down to medium or low. I think it goes from high to low, actually. And uh, just hit that and knock it down to low. And then you should be running at an even more solid 30. So I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thank you, guys. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like and uh, subscribe button. And uh, hit that bell so you're notified for future content. Uh, we're going to have a lot of gameplay videos coming on. And um, we've been filming a lot. And we just want to make sure that you guys have gameplay to go with our settings. Uh, visit us on Facebook at Pixel Deck. And um, uh, also, there's a link down below if you guys want to become a patron. If you guys want to buy us a cup of coffee 
or you guys want to uh, help support what we do for the community. Um, it gets expensive buying games and I got a family and uh, Patreon kind of keeps me out of the doghouse, so to speak. So, uh, hey, you guys have a wonderful day and uh, thanks for all your support. Talk to you soon. Bye.